This is the Microsoft Surface Duo, and I'm very drawn to this device and the possibility it unlocks for artists, especially when it comes to multitasking. Hey everyone, C. Wilson here, and this is my Surface Duo art review, and I believe this device is a multitasking artist's dream. Though it is buggy, and should have been way more heavily optimized, I still believe it's packed with tons of potential. First, let me start off by saying, I don't see the Surface Duo as an actual phone, but more of a companion device to your phone. It's like a portable pocket PC that so happens to take phone calls. So maybe on the next generation for this device, they'll improve those capabilities, but since the specs are pretty decent, that's all that truly matters. And speaking of the specs, here they are. So the Surface Duo is rocking a Snapdragon 855 processor with 6GB of RAM. It also has 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage and a 3,577 milliamp hour battery. It also charges via USB type C 3.1 with Bluetooth 5.0. And it has a 11 megapixel camera that can uh, record at 4K 30 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per second. And when it comes to the display, the Surface Duo has a pixel sense display and it is resolution of 1800 by 2700 and when it's fully extended out it's 8.1 inches when folded it's 5.6 inches with a resolution of 1350 by 1800 pixels so jumping in concepts to try my line test out i noticed that lines were drawn accurately and i didn't really notice any jitter that i would notice on my surface book and what is strange is i can't find anything on the pin pressure sensitivity of any kind out there so if you do know the pin pressure levels just go ahead and drop a comment down below and you can expand the app on both planes and draw over that gap that's there but I prefer not to do that and when you close it it does pick up from right where you're at and you can continue drawing but there is something that I did notice on certain apps you're able to use the pins eraser just like you would on your surface pro to erase but for some reason in concepts it doesn't do this but in other applications such as ibis paint it does allow this to happen so i'm unsure if this is a software bug or just a app specific type of thing now on to the drawing experience so for the drawing experience when you're using the surface duo some of the things that i actually liked about it was the app pairing you, you know pairing apps together is very very good i kind of like it because it helps me jump right into the flow of things you can see me use a few of my app pairs that i have already set up to where i can jump straight into going into ibis and going into my uh, drawing website that i use for references for anatomy and then later on jumping in it to go straight to over to pinterest something like this it makes it super easy on a device like this that you can kind of actually just carry in your pocket simply because you're able to quickly navigate to those things without having to set it up there's something really unique about this experience because when you're setting it up it, it actually allows those uh, two different screens and with this aspect ratio it makes it to where drawing on the surface duo is actually quite pleasurable something that i compare this to would be the note 20 ultra that i used in while the Note 20 Ultra had a narrow display, its pen technology is a little superior, but the display is narrower, making your drawing surface area cramped. And since it's cramped, it makes it very hard to actually use. Now, that's not the case for the Surface Duo. I actually find myself enjoying more drawing on the Surface Duo because of this. Now, I would never expand or pan both of the um, pen one app over both of the columns just because it, it makes it kind of hard to uh, or both of the screens because it makes it very hard to draw but what this gets my mind thinking of is the surface neo and with those bigger screens what you can be able to do and the possibilities that this could unlock for artists and i feel personally that the only thing that's really holding this device back is the optimization i love drawing on it I love splitting apps across screens and putting putting two apps together and being able to draw. I do feel like if this came with Windows 10X possibly, it would have been a little bit better optimized just because 
it's using Android. It, I think Microsoft has to figure out what they want to do because at times there are some some weird glitches where trying to uh, lift up or swipe from the bottom doesn't work. It kind of freezes on you and then a display will go out. But otherwise than that, once you're really working on your actual work and you get into that zone and that workflow, this device really starts to complement how I personally draw. And I think it could complement others as well. And what I think is really going on is that Microsoft is heavily relying on Android to do or Google to do the heavy lifting when they need to actually go in and optimize it themselves they need to kind of do what the samsung approach is although it might make it a little heavy on the skin i think it would make it better for their users that they're seeing this for because to me this is this is really that pocket sketchbook it's like a moleskin sketchbook if you ask me you you open it up you can jump straight into the apps that you want to draw in you can easily draw the pen is already there this is one, at least to my knowledge, one of the first devices that's a foldable device that works this way. The Galaxy Fold, $2,000 phone, doesn't have pin support. The Surface Duo does. And this makes me feel like there's something really special there because it's not just a regular split screen. It, it's using two screens, which makes you operate differently. It makes you use it like a dual screen monitor versus one giant tablet which i like and i really am looking forward to the second iteration of this, of this device because i believe there's something really special with this and it really has the potential to take off because drawing on it i like the experience and i'm really hoping that this gets optimized more so it can even make that experience better and build upon what they've already started so going into those negatives, I would just say that they really need to update the Surface Pen to work better. They should have made it uh, kind of uh, op more optimized for the Surface Pen. I wish that it does have. I wish that it did have 120 hertz or even a 90 hertz display. Dropping from 120 hertz and then going over to the 60 hertz, you can really feel those parallel differences on there and next is just optimize it to get rid of all these bugs that they have it get kind of ruin the drawing experience and make it more frustrating than pleasurable but uh in conclusion i'll just say i really like this device it's a portable pocket pc and to me it's a great thing for me as an artist because i can do more than one thing without having to split the screen I can get my practice drafts in without having any problems and just jump straight into it and start working on my work. What I'd like to see in the future is hopefully some bigger screens. If we get the bigger screens in there, less bezel, I'm good to go. Battery on this is already okay and honestly, it's a great drawing experience. And I only can recommend this to hardcore enthusiasts that really want to see how the software matures over time. And if you like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up, drop a comment down below and hit that bell notification icon if you want to know when I drop new videos. And like I typically do, I'll play this out to the very end and peace.